All right, what's up, YouTube? Quick video today on fader replacement on the Z14, probably the same as the 16, 12, whatever, 8. Uh, the architecture of this thing looks like they're just, you know, copy, paste, and channels. Um, all we're doing is replacing faders 1 and 2. These have gotten a lot of love. They feel a lot more worn and are a little bit sloppier than the other channels, which still feel nice and smooth. Um, also looks like it maybe got dropped or a lot of weight put on that first channel, so um, we're going to swap that out. With this thing opened up, we see a couple of things really quickly. The first is that, you know, they, they've done this, this pretty typical strategy of duplicating the same channel configuration with these uh, vertically mounted boards. So, you know, channels one through six here are all the same, right? So these boards are gonna be the same. So what are we gonna do? Well, we're just gonna take these these out. We're gonna desolder these connections first for channels one and two. Um, really quick, we can see on the other side that the fader was recessed a little bit and that, you know, there's a little bit of looseness going on. This I think is just the screw. And this one may not need to be replaced, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because I have the parts. Um, but this one, you know, definitely you can see that, that the, uh, the housing is separated there and there's you know potentially some damage to the the uh the resistive trace under there maybe maybe not but um, we're gonna we're gonna do this really quick anyways all right so it's super easy to pop these faders off the uh the actual fingerling there and then we're gonna undo these screws and then uh, we'll flip it back over with the replacement faders it's uh it's be pretty hard to screw it up although you want to keep you know left right the same fortunately you've got some references here so uh, we're going to desolder and resolder since we have a little bit of extra wire on this what we're going to do um to make sure we have a clean connection they folded these through these holes it looks like so we're just going to cut the ends of these wires as close as we can it's kind of hard to do this with one hand okay cool boom done all right, this is a little bit hard to see what I'm doing here, but I'm just gonna come in here and strip this back. Making sure not to yank too hard on the wires upstream of where we're doing this. We wanna, we wanna do enough wire here that we can fold it through like they had done originally. The best repair is one that doesn't look like it was actually completed. Okay, so now we're gonna take our end, fold it through, and then we're gonna solder it. Just fast forward through the other one, but this is the basic gist here. Okay, cool, so this is done. We can slide this one back in. And we'll do the last one here and then flip it over and show the whole thing getting screwed back in. Now, it is interesting to note that this wire now is a little bit short, but not too bad. It's actually be fine. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one. If you're struggling with this, you can do it with the board sideways. Feed it in, a little helpful. All right, so we flipped it back over and that's pretty much it. All these things are sorted out now. There's a little bit of loose business here, but it's kind of the same on all of them. You know, it's it's not a super high-end console by any means, but it's pretty solid now. So thanks for checking in. This is pretty pretty standard stuff I would think you'd have to do uh, across the board, whether it's an Allen & Heath or whatever. So uh, hopefully it's helpful.